As the long prophesied Latter-day gathering of the Lord's covenant people gains momentum, the church will truly be comprised of members from every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. This is not a calculated or forced diversity, but a naturally occurring phenomenon that we would expect, recognizing that the gospel net gathers from every nation and every people. Having been given this privilege, we cannot permit any racism, tribal prejudice, or other divisions to exist in the Latter-day Church of Christ. We should be diligent in rooting prejudice and discrimination out of the church, out of our homes, and most of all, out of our hearts. We need one another. A sense of belonging is important to our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Yet, it is quite possible that at times each of us might feel that we don't fit in. Let us leave judgment in the Lord's hands and those He has commissioned and be content to love and treat each other the best we can. Although we rarely think about it, much of our belonging comes from our service and the sacrifices we make for others and for the Lord. Excessive focus on our personal needs, our own comfort, can frustrate that sense of belonging. Belonging comes not as we wait for it, but as we reach out to help one another. We don't join the church for fellowship alone, important as that is. We join for redemption through the love and grace of Jesus Christ. We join to secure the ordinances of salvation and exaltation for ourselves and those we love on both sides of the veil. Despite disappointments and setbacks along the way, it's a grand quest. We lift and encourage each other in pursuing the upward path knowing that no matter tribulation, no matter delays and promised blessings, we can be of good cheer, for Christ has overcome the world and we are with Him. Being one with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is without doubt the ultimate in belonging.